Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I am your host, Craig Chamberlain, and in this iCast, I'm going to answer a question from a user. What are we going to do about registry cleaners? Which one's the best? How do I compare these two? And in this case, he said, why is registry cleaner versus Glary Utilities? Now, the problem is, is we're going to get into an issue of registry cleaners. Okay, registry cleaners are historically good tools but they can also be dangerous tools if, if used improperly and not and you don't do any kind of backing up. Now there are advantages that come when you're actually using a registry cleaner. It will remove a lot of the junk out of your registry which is good for over time because it'll actually also improve your user experience by removing old uh, file associations and things like that. That being said, the problem with the idea behind a registry cleaner, the logic behind a registry cleaner is that it's scanning over your system registry, which is like the backbone of your entire computer system, and it's automatically detecting errors. Okay, so it sounds great in theory, but automatically detecting errors. Remember, this is based on an algorithm that they came up with that applies to the majority of machines. So there is the off chance that a registry cleaner can go in there and remove something it's not supposed to remove. I want you to understand that the severity of that can the consequences of that can be extremely frustrating. So if you're using a any kind of registry cleaner, you have to make sure to use the backup utility within that registry cleaner before you actually run the clean. If you do not do this, you are risking removing an invalid entry and causing system instability. So I have to get that out of the way. A lot of people are not aware of that. A lot of people are like, I love this registry cleaner. I just go in here, I run it, it removes stuff, and everything's all happy. Okay? So there are advantages to a registry cleaner, but there are also risks to it. So make sure you're backing up your registry so that you can recover from it. That being said, is Wise Registry Cleaner better than Glary Utilities? Well... They're both great products. Both of them are free, but the problem is Glary Utilities is not just a registry cleaner. It's a full encompassing package and suite that allows you to also go in and optimize your uh, defragment your 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 defragment your registry. I'm sorry. You can also remove junk files. You can also remove um, uh, optimize your. Jeez, oh, now I'm gonna forget. There's a lot of features, okay? Just just go and check it out. But uh, Glare Utilities is one of the products I've recommended for a very long time. I've had a lot of really good luck with it. Just make sure you back up your registry before running it. But uh, when we're talking about comparing the registry cleaners, I can't really tell you which one's better because in reality, they both kind of do the exact same thing. Uh, if I was going to have to pick between the two, I would actually opt for Glare Utilities mostly because Glare Utilities offers a whole bunch of other tools alongside it. But uh, it's not like you have to have four or five registry cleaners to get your registry fully clean. And then, in fact, that, that would be the worst idea you could have. Uh, generalized cleaning uh, is good enough. You don't need to have some sweet, awesome, top-of-the-line registry cleaner. They pretty much all do the same thing. They look for obsoleted registry files. They look for no lo uh, file associations that are no longer in use. They look for obsoleted programs that are no longer being used. And they remove all those files from your registry. And, and the theory is it not only reduces your, your disk usage, which is minuscule, but the idea is it also improves your disk access time uh, for registry entries as well. So if you accumulated a lot of junk over a long period of time, it can also free up some uh, access time for that. But it can also allow you to, uh, when you, <laughs> it'll also remove those file associations so you can have a better user experience if you run into those file extensions again. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that you can do with it, but but in reality, I, getting in the comparison to comparison to comparison part, I mean, they all pretty much do the same thing. You got to read the reviews. You got to make sure people who are using it aren't complaining about it. And for reviews, if you want to read reviews, you can just type it into Google. You can you can write in, you can write in Wise Registry Cleaner Review. And then you can go in there and read the review or read multiple reviews. I prefer user reviews, so I use like CNET, to check the reviews. I use File Hippo. I use all kinds of uh, major geeks. I use these types of websites. That's uh, majorgeeks.com. I use these websites to kind of gauge the, the reliability from users on this software package so that you can get an idea of uh, where you're at as far as comparisons are concerned. So I hope that answers your question. I know it's, it's another one of my yes but no answers. That's kind of what my like, trademark, I guess, because there's a lot to it. And I'm, I'm trying to inform you a little bit about more about registry cleaners and what they are and what their purpose is. When you're comparing the two together, they both kind of do the same thing. You know, just make sure that, that you got good reviews on it. Now, my website does have over 80 free downloads that includes some free registry cleaners. I haven't added Wise Registry Cleaner to that yet, um, but uh, you can go there and there's tons of stuff. I, I've collected over my 
I don't know, eight years as an IT guy. So make sure you check that out. That's at PCMTechHelp.com. And if you like this video, go ahead and like it and uh, thumb it up. I appreciate it. Share it if you, uh, you think it'll be useful to anybody else. And uh, also, stay tuned.